Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we're at the start screen. Now, I've actually not seen this picture from this background in quite a, quite a long time. But, as the top left says, we are playing the Great War. World War One mod for Hearts of Iron 4, current version, open beta 0.6.1. That's right, kids, we are in a beta created by Wolfaros with help with the community. Uh, I guess Wolf Floros is a small independent game development studio founded in 2015. And you can play this with this mod without any paid DLC of Hearts of Iron 4. Well, that's too bad. I already paid for all of them, and I'm desperately waiting for the new DLC to come out because I'm really excited for it. Anyways, let's get let's start, let's get started. So, like in the last episode of my Russian campaign, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to try to play the Great War mod, and I don't ever like starting over at the day of when things really go south. So we'll start in the good old days of 1910. Everyone was having great times, especially where we're going to start with. Oh, our Father who art in heaven, Franz Joseph the First, be thy name. We are going to play as Austria Hungary under Franz Joseph, Franz Joseph the First. Oh, and he has a great successor, I've heard, that may be claiming the throne if Franz Joseph would expire. But we're going to go ahead and select him. Uh, Friends Joseph, it's next election, it's in May 1911, alright. Historical AI on, custom stuff, we don't believe in that type of stuff here. Yeah. Um, regular difficulty, and of course it's not Iron Man achievable, or can't get achievements. Whatever, I don't ever get achievements, I don't really care about it. Alright, so, let the game load, well, holy crap, that was fast loading time. But, yeah, I never go for Iron Man stuff just because the save stuff, or, you know, peace conferences can get so wonky and you can't use title of peace conferences and Iron Man, so I just, eh, whatever. Alright, so, playing as Austria, all this, on in my opinion, I've played this several times, this stuff takes way too long to get done for a very little benefit, I mean, you get a single factory after 70 days, so, and there's so much here for diplomo diplomacy and political efforts, so... We're not going to go democratic. We're not going to go internationalism. We're definitely going to go with militarism because that'll be best. Let's see. We got actually have quite a, a lot of manpower already. One and a half million. That's pretty good. Student movement, make concessions, lead the central powers. Huh. Limited rationing, dismantle Austria-Hungary. Why would I ever want to do that? Unify the realm, yes. Oppress minorities, yes. That is the thing that we always have ever wanted in Austria-Hungary. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, renew the triple alliance. Securing Italian loyalty or strengthening ties with Germany. Yeah, I have to give South Tyrol or Sud Tyrol in Istria? Hell no! Hell no! Yeah, no, that's terrible. I would rather reorganize the So we're just pretty much going to go pretty historical. Diplomatically. Uh, Balkan policy. If we could annex them, that'd be cool. More and more shoots through. or shoots core. Uh, what are we going to start off with? Which direction do we want to go? Ooh, National Spirit Ford Expeditionaries. Divisions required for sending volunteer forces. Can send volunteer forces. I want to do that. Send troops out to Bulgaria. So we're going to try to get that as fast as possible. But before I do that, I just want to see. Is there anything that could give me... Wait, Annex came on the alright. That could give me another research slot. Uh, Lenstreitkräfte Österreich Ungarns. It doesn't look like there is. It looks like we're pretty much stuck with our current research salons. Until we get down here, which will take literally forever. Or maybe not literally forever, but pretty freaking forever. So let's go and do that. Uh, we already have four, so I mean, it's not too bad. It is 1910, so we are a little bit ahead of time in terms of weapons and equipment. Or at least we have everything needed. Horse-drawn vehicles. Land doctrine, yes. We want to do that immediately. Uh, yeah, mass charge. Yep, it definitely sounds like World War One stuff. Industry, 1900, Russian efficiency cap. Is there anything that gives me better research? 1907, force rate research time. Yes, sir. Submarine attack. Industry. Recon is good. Supply consumption could be very good as well. Construction speed, we want that. Oil. Yeah, let's get some construction speed. Alright, I don't see anything for faster research times except for that one thing. We do have 151 political power already, which is kind of insane. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see, what type of division are, are we using? Well, let's go here and see what we have. So the Landwehr division is 12 combat width. It's not bad. 
uh, Stoßtrupp has actually 12, but better support companies, logistics, yeah, I only use Stoßtrupp. I think that means shoots is protects, but Stoß, or Stoß, probably Stoß, is a shock, shock units from World War One, the German shock units, Ersatz, Hussars, Strassenpanzerwagen. Yeah, we're not really going to focus too much on that. I'm going to break the game probably somehow. But let's go ahead and try to form Stolztruppen. I like that. So all of you guys, everyone, can become a Stolztruppen. Good. And all cavalry will come over here because they'll be mobile battalions. And let's see. What is this? 13. You already are Stolztruppen. No? Wait, did I tell... Oh, crap. Did I not change you to Stoss? Oh, there we go. Now everyone's going to be so important that that means no one's important. That's how it works, right? So let's take uh, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? Just select all. Fourteen. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen sounds like a pretty good number to have. So you guys, well, uh, Garrison right here. I want you to do a new theater. Because you guys will be on the Italian front. You should mostly have... Uh, I should actually put some Mountaineers in here. Fort Attack. Field Marshal. Yeah, he's not great. That's not bad. Uh, let's re actually remove four of these guys. So we can get... Actually, no, screw it. Let's see. How many Mountain Divisions do we have? Uh, we have three Mountain Divisions. Yeah, just go ahead and throw these guys in here. And I'll take... One, two, three, four. Back out. So, obviously, we'll need... A good line of divisions against the Russians. 22. That sounds pretty good. It's you. Oh, wait. I, I don't want to protect their lands. I want to protect my lands. Uh, up to Krakow. Or so. Yeah. Germans can protect their own stuff. That'll be good. You guys, let's continue going down. With these 10 here, I will use them as mobile groups, yeah, you can do that. And we have 21 extra soldiers. Now, I'm going to surround the Serbs just because, I don't know, we don't we don't really like the Serbs. I don't know if you know history or not, but Serbs are special people. I'll put it like that. Uh, you're defending against the Russians. Uh, Karl von Flatzer Baltin? Y y no, yes? Planning speed. Max planning. So, uh, yeah, let's do this one seems better. And everyone has a general. You. You. Uh, you can be under this guy. Oh, Konrad von Hützendorf. Um, something tells me him being a level 3 general might be a little bit too much. And offensive doctrine is great and all, but if you have ever seen on YouTube the Great War series, I don't think he should be having this much skill. Just saying. He's not the best of the best. Uh, before we actually try to make anything that we need, let's see what we actually need here. Making some ships. Mm, supplies. We are out of our infantry equipment and support equipment and motorized. Field guns are okay. So we have 12 factories in total. We'll get up to you there. Yeah, that'll be good. Shoot the bottom. Yeah, we definitely need to make some of those. Yeah, make some of that, make some of that, make some of that. Light cruisers, uh, you do that first. And I'm going to, of course, put all my ships together. Yeah, that'll be good. So, we should try to produce some factories. Some, like, at least one military factory. Lower Austria should have this first. And, let's see, 60, 60 is like the best, oh, 70 is the best infrastructure. That'll be good. Uh, actually, Bohemia, you can't make any. So we'll make one civilian factory and one military factory at the same time. And, yeah, these, are, these guys are outdated. Well, they're outdated, but that's alright. They're almost done being produced. I'd rather have them than not have them. And modify our government. Uh, 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 alright. Oh, whatever. What can we do here? Prince of Terror, Smooth Talking Charmer, who political power gain. How much do we get a day? 1.14. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good already. Uh, might as well get some more. Alright, so I think we're almost ready to begin. We need to make some more soldiers. 
Land barrier, average units. Yeah, I don't want average units. Schutz, Schutztruppen, uh, Ersatz. Uh, let's get rid of that. And when to uh, air the Schutztruppe division will be the division that um will guard like coasts and stuff like that. We'll leave that alone. Uh, we definitely should make this a little better artillery. Huh. <coughs> Excuse me. Schutztruppen. 12 width is great and all, but we definitely need some artillery, and we'll add in some infantry, and maybe make it 20 width divisions. Now, this is what takes up most of the game's time, and let's almost go ahead. Uh, sure, we'll just need 6 here. Uh, that actually might be too much there. Uh, 6 down here. Actually, no, wait. 4 down there, and then 6 up here. So, the main part of the game right now that we're going to do... Ooh, welcome to the Great War. Ooh, veteran player of Hearts of Iron Forward. Choose one of the four options to see how good you are. I have coffee here. Thank you for asking. Am I Tinky Winky Eho? Four manpower. Entrenchment speed, planning speed, spot consumption. Wow, not today. I've got balls of steel. Oh my gosh. Tonight we dine in hell. Oh my lord. Uh, I'm just going to say not today. I'm not the greatest player, as you can tell. But I'm not the worst player. Oh, death of Edward the Seventh. Oh no! George V has received his coronation. Well, we'll see what the future holds for all of us. All right, so we are getting a little bit of uh, experience every day. Oh, yes, two weeks have been done. That'll be good. Actually, since this is 1.47 years, that's halfway. But let's go. Ahead. We'll change this one to dread actual dreadnoughts. Yeah, that'll be fine. Since oh. Shit, that takes a long time. Uh, let's see, this has 23 firing range, 9.5 naval firepower. This one has 4.2. 4.2, yeah, I'm glad I switched it over, even though it'll take forever to get that stuff done. Uh, yeah, we, actually, we need a lot more of this first. Albanian Revolt. They, submit, they refuse to submit to the Turks. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, total annexation. We'll lose a little bit of stability, but at least we'll get those factories. So we could at least annex them. Bosnia, I doubt... Oh, you're you're actually a puppet of mine. You are led by Marjan Varensinen. Alright, diplomatic effort. Yeah, generic focus tree. How many factories do you have? That's what I'm really interested in. One. You have one factory. Oh, wow, well, that was fast. We annexed them extremely quickly. Yeah, but at least we've got one more factory here. Bosnian, um... Sure, screw it, why not. Go and become Schwarzstruppers. If everyone's a shock trooper, then no one's a shock trooper. Uh, we don't need to do that. First Balkan War reaction. So we need the London Peace Conference to have occurred. Which is fine. We'll wait on that. Infrastructure effort seems pretty bad. A certain position in the east. Neutral alliance. Political effort. Uh, let's do that since we get some more political power. And we've got plenty of time. Oh. 1.4 political power day. Awesome. Uh, more. More. Worker conditions. Yeah, let's do that. I like more stability since we just lost 10, anyways. Now, I definitely need guys to. Ooh, trial this proposal. I need more XP, but I'll get touch that in a little bit. So, despite the name Austria Hungary, the Empire is truly ruled by Austria, of course, the best, the best country in the world. Many of our smaller nationalities are furious with their lack of any sort of representation. Well, too bad, you're under me. Several of our states may be able to become more autonomous under local Austrian nobles, of course, but this may weaken our state considerably. Despite this, it still has proponents within our government. What shall we do? Duh, this is all nonsense. To hell with this. Let's see. Or we could actually get trialism. Or we get a lot better stuff. Uh, a lot of pretty good national spirit. But then I have to re release everyone. This is all nonsense. To hell with that. Are you kidding me? Austria forever. Even though we're all called Austria hungry, it's really Austria forever. Uh, oh crap! Look at our political power. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. But that's all right. We're still pretty stable at 59% stability. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. So let's talk about the national spirits in this. <coughs> Excuse me. So we get a little bit more political power every day because of the House of Habsburg Lorraine. Uh, a little bit of research. Ten. Factory output. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see. What else we have here? Uh, multinational state. So we lose 10% stability, but we'll eventually get that 10% back. Oh, do we actually... 
finish up. Oh, we finished up the Sigourney factory. Nice. Um, let's do that there. Oh, we can do that. And then I'll plop on another one right there. Cool. So we're a national, multinational state. And then we also have the Austrian staff. So we get more recruitable population factor by 50%, which is actually kind of insane to think about. How many guys do we get monthly? Two and a half thousand, 2,500 men. We get daily army XP. We get less planning speed, which is fine with me. I don't really plan very much. Uh, division speed goes up by 10%. It's actually really impressive. Uh, plus 5% reinforce rate and plus 40% max planning. It feels like I'm a little too powerful than what Austria did in real life. But we'll see what how well I do. You never know how good or bad I might do. Let's do that. And then resource efficiency gain, construction speed, production efficiency cap, artillery, 1910. You can wait on that. Armor? Yeah, we can't do anything with armor. And like all that other stuff, we can't really do very much with that. Battle cruisers. Uh, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm just a big proponent of big ships. Guarded by small ships. Destroyers. Actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that'll be good. Cool. Oh, nice. So we're trying to finish up the Dreadnought, and then we'll get to the other. Pre-Dreadnought to Dreadnought. So, anyways. So, with we'll a ton of more max planning, plus 40%. Holy cow. <coughs> Excuse me. That's insane. Oh, oh, yeah. Good. More political effort. Obviously, we're going to reinforce it. the... Emperor's Authority, Effective Partisans, can send Volunteer Forces, actually that'll be really good, we, let's do that before any sort of Balkan War kicks off. Alright, let's see, but yeah, these spirits make me just feel like I'm a little overpowered, but we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, I'm not the greatest player for this. Alright, so we have Kaiser Wilhelm, another German daddy here, King of Montenegro is proclaimed, alright, cool, and they have German staff, which gives them 45% recruitable population factor, better uh, starting levels of army leaders, uh, daily experience gain, better speed for planning and divisions, period, and more max planning, so that's pretty cool. North German Confederation Legacy, 10% more stability, and some very stable, and Scramble for Africa is kind of interesting as well. Uh, let's go over here, because I'm talking about the National Spirits, mostly because Russia is like, like the developers, they want to mirror history to a degree, but they don't give me more negative attributes and the problems of, you know, having so many states. I mean, yeah, 10% stability lower is not good to have, but it would have a lot more effects than just 10% less stability. But that's just me. Anyway, so, that's why I'm talking about Russia. Russia has really bad... I know they had a revolution in, like, 1906 or something, so... So they have Eastern Orthodox Church, which makes sense, which is pretty good. Um, you know... More stability, less consumer goods. They have the Tsushima Humiliation. Ooh, Japan, Korea, Annexation Treaty. Uh oh. Which gives them a, a whole bunch of debuffs. So, more training time, less stability, less recovery rate, less organization. <clears throat> they can produce coastal ports better, but this was because, you know, the Russo Japanese War, which didn't end very well for Russia. And limited railway infrastructure, which hurts a division attrition. Ooh, Portugal comes from the public. Whatever. Uh, production efficiency growth, efficiency cap, and retention, which isn't terrible, but, I mean, it still hurts Russia. Kind of interesting, but they have, oh my lord, too many men. So, eh, Russia, I would like to have seen a little bit more, maybe just a little more historical kind of negative traits, because Austria-Hungary, I mean, 66% stability, I mean, we have like 30,000 different ethnicities here in this country, I mean, everyone pretty much hates each other. Uh, let's see, let's, take, let's look, at, look at France. I mean, oh, by the way, guys, this type of Germany, uh, actually, this looks like this province up here should be actually given to Germany, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Germany, this is, looks like one of the best Germanys ever. Oh, why can't we have this in real life, man? I'm telling you about it. Oh, God. Anyways, uh, militarism, yes. France. France, France, France. The French Republic. So they have revanchism, which makes sense because they want Alsace-Lorraine back. Elsass lothringen uh, scramble for Africa, just like Germany and the other powers, and they have a disjointed government, which France is honestly very... It always seems like, ever since Napoleon, they've always been very, you know, not unified. Disjointed. So they have a huge hit to political power and stability because of that. So, yeah, ever since Napoleon really was overthrown, France has always been in turmoil, you know, they always have, like, huge factions, like communists, democratic people... Not too much fascist, no, not really, but more 
it always doesn't seem very peaceful there. Especially even today. I mean, right now we have the yellow vest movement going on for good reasons and stuff. France is just one of those countries that always have a lot of good times. We'll put it like that. Right, anyways, um, what are we gonna have for political power? Country designer. Mm -hmm. Research stuff could be good. Tanks. We don't really need this for a while. Navy. Austria Hungary, Hungary was never really known for their navy. Yeah, this is bad for the less carrier size, less armor. This is also bad because they get less naval firepower. So ship designer is pretty much one we're going to be stuck at. Partial mobilization. I would love to have. So we're back up here. Great deal. Well, more stability sounds nice. But let's just get some better factory, more factories quicker. That'll be for the best. Just our goal is just make a crap ton of factories. Alright, cavalry. You will be the guys I probably will send over to make sure that you're really strong. So let's go ahead and try to buff you up. Cavalry. Cavalry brigade? Well, it seems extremely weak. I don't want that. Hussars. Make you a little stronger. And I will have to get some more of this stuff. So the 10 combat width. I'm waiting for some more to war some war to spawn so I can at least give some volunteers to. The revolution in Mexico. Oh, that's good to go to war on the Mexican opposition. Those darn Mexicans trying to kill each other again. Oh, research finish, mass charge. That's a lot of Mexicans on one side. That's not so many Mexicans on the other side. Wow. So, oh, entrenched battalions. We get more soft attack, more organization, better entrenchment. Wow, plus 20. And plus entrenchment speed, plus 50%. Holy cow. We must really suck to start off like that. Alright, so, Mexican opposition. They don't really like us, but you guys kind of like us. Can I send you volunteers? No, we need more, more world tension. Wow, we already have two more factories. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot I always put my ships together because there's really no point in the current naval meta to really put these guys elsewhere. Oh, the Kaiser Franz Joseph, the first class. Yes! Yeah, put the subs in there, why not? So if you hear any sounds in the background, uh, I apparently, apparently I have a um, trumpet player playing right now. Don't ask why. Oh, Mikolos Horthy. He sounds familiar. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see how he does in the world. With that in mind, uh, let's see. Yeah, you dreadnoughts. China Station. Oh, China Station. Oh look, Germans are here in China. Qingdao. Cool. Uh, yeah, where are you? Oh, uh, you are just here floating in the ocean? Okay. Uh, oh. And my name is the SMS Kaiserin Elizabeth. Yet I am a Kaiser Franz Joseph I class ship. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. We have this. A civilian factory, political power, more population. Let's renew the Triple Alliance. Why not? That sounds like a good idea in 1911. It's already 1911, guys. Happy 1911. Alright, problems of peace. We can ban a lot of stuff, but we don't really need to ban stuff. I mean, we're already 85% authoritarian. I don't know why, I just, just remembered that with the upcoming DLC called Man the Guns, I don't know how the ships reminded me of this, but we're going to have the second American Civil War, which absolutely makes no sense, but I'm extremely excited to play as a Confederate in the upcoming release of the game. Or the upcoming, you know, DLC. That'll be... Oh, that'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting to play as. What do you have? Uh, uh, we're seven months. It's not, it's not even half. It's not half. And this is just better. 11 firepower versus how much? Nine and a half. How much does this use? Surface visibility is 30. Fire range is 24. Fire, is this fire range? Uh, 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 ah, screw it. We'll do it anyways. Because we have enough of this anyways. Uh, military factories. Yeah, we're just going to plow through more military factories. Alright, we'll do that, and then we'll do that. But, I also want to add a few more naval dockyards as well. Just because they're they're a little important. Ooh, trenches. Trenches. I like trenches. And of course, I'll add these, but we're not going to make these for a very long time. Because I want more civilian factories. Alright, good. 
Uh, fascist demagogue with the terror. Da, 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 da. Naval base. Excuse me, construction. Uh, we can get more stability. That'd be nice. But maybe we'll get some more industry stuff first. Cool. Oh yeah, we did get more. No, it's just, oh my god, we got so much political power. Or, well, we do have. We do get a lot of political power. But we got so much manpower now. <laughs> Effective total manpower modified to 150% due to Austrian staff. Good lord. Yeah, so, yeah, I love this. I won't say I love it, but I I really really enjoy this mod because of the focus trees. Ooh, root tentacles because. Germany has a really great focus tree, but they pretty much have to lose World War One to get to World War Two with Mein Kampf, name Hitler, Chancellor of Germany, and Knight of the Long Knives. So basically, I'm probably going to stop this mod at the end of World War One, just because I'm not planning to lose, and the only way for the game to really continue is for me to lose. I could technically, however, switch to Germany. I guess technically, if they were to lose, and that we could just kind of play as them and have. Some fun. Some more fun. Uh, 1911. Planes. Oh, yeah, planes are going to be kind of important. Triplanes. I never know what to research. The triplane or the scout and fighter? I always just do this one. The scout and fighter. The Phoenix. Uh, land doctrine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just. Ah, screw it. We'll do more reinforcements. Because why not? So we really need more guns and artillery. And some more support equipment. Yeah. This will be most important because this, this is the hardest to make. Good. Yeah, we'll make enough guns eventually, so. Renew the Triple Alliance. That'll be good. Securing Italian loyalty. Yeah, no, I'm not giving you any territory, guys. I'm sorry. N not really, but I'm not really sorry at all. Alright, infrastructure effort, because because I want to get those factories. I want to get those research slots as fast as possible, even though we are time-constrained. I just would like to get that stuff done. But diplomacy is going to be very important. Can, can someone go to war? I don't know what year that happened. Wait, what? I know this, though. Italy and the Ottoman Empire went to war with each other before World War One started, because the fight over Libya. Because the Ottomans will lose Libya, or Serenic, Serena, Serenic, Libya, uh, to the Turks. Senussi order, Tunisia. Yeah, I swear to God, I know my geography. And Bulgarians will want all this territory because the Balkans will have a major revolt against the Ottomans, and then the Bulgarians will kind of retreat and try to strike their and their allies and try to get territory from the Fourth Balkan War. You know, there's so many wars in the Balkans. It's always the powder keg of Europe for some reason. You know what? A good time. Let's screw up our division some more. More horses, I I would say. 14, 16, 18. Let's make it at least 20. Good. So we need more. Uh, field hospitals, we're going to add that in just because they have no artillery, they're pretty squishy, they have a lot of HP and all, but it's like infantry, except on horses. Uh, armament efforts, it's really not worth it. Naval gun effort would be actually kind of worth it. But not. Let's focus more on diplomacy. All this stuff can be done later. Assert position in the east. Yes. Oh, we got more political power! Yeah. Just this mod. Actually, I should have done the other one. I should have done guns and our guns and weapons and equipment and stuff like that. But this mod is just—it's good, but it's—but it's not—it's—it's it's not the mod's fault for trying to re represent World War One. Just because it's trying to do World War One and World War Two, and it doesn't exactly work the way you would like it to. Because right now, I have so much political power. I mean, I already have a lot of these guys in position, research and production. I have so much manpower already. It, it just feels like. There's, they could have done it, they could have nerfed the countries a little bit more to start the war, while still representing the mass industrial and manpower efforts needed for the entire World War I. I don't know, I might just be rambling here, but you know, that's just my opinion. So we're almost done with civilian factories, actually no, I want more civilian factories. I want to use so many civilian factories, I'm going to run out of space in my, in my country, and I'm going to have to annex other countries. That's what I want. Ooh, Machu Picchu uncovered. Oh, oh, and this mod does also add coal and wood, so that's kind of cool. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, what is Italy up to? Oh, she just came ahead. Espionage. P political efforts. Secret deal. How? How? What? You have a secret deal with France, Italy? Come on, guys. I thought we were cool. Come on. Anti Austria Hungary. Oh, come on, guys. Why? Just because I may own Sud Tyrol and. Have Istria that you want doesn't mean you have to hate me. Oh, Agadir crisis. This is interesting. 
I didn't know about this in real life. Morocco and citizens began a rebellion against Sultan. Their Sultan. A French are preparing a lift of the siege on the palace in Fez. Germans have sent uh, a ship to support the rebels. Uh, let's see. Interest in the region pursuing the events of rebel failure. Morocco will pass to direct control by France. War could break out, but odds are it won't. And if it does, well, this will get started with something. Uh, let's see. Give Bukovina to Romania. Call Romania to war. Limited trade with Russia. Anti Russian policies. Uh, since Italians, I didn't start this. I want the word to be known that I didn't start negative feelings between me and Italy, but they started this first. So don't give me this crap that, oh, Austria Hungary doesn't like Italy. No, it's Italy that doesn't like us. Alright, we are the victims here. Austria Hungary is always the victims. Uh, I guess we'll do planes. Uh, fighters, yeah, that's good. Shipping down to Germany. Still mobilizing more men, my lord. We're not really producing any because I want my. All my divisions be nice and thick. Love my thick guys. Alright. Uh, yeah, artillery is kind of a must need. And Mona Lisa has been stolen! I did not know that. In 1911, the Mona Lisa was stolen. Very interesting. And let's check out one thing before we really end the episode here. They're doing political effort, but I want to see when do they have Libyan claims. Oh, they can do that now. They can do that now. Ooh. Ooh. Sub attack. Reinforce it sounds pretty good. Industry, resource efficiency gain sounds good, even though we don't really need it. And Italy is up to Libyan claims, even though I won't be able to support either side, really, and I don't like either side very much. Uh, the Turks, actually, they kind of like us because we have the same ideology, but mm, the Italians, yeah, they don't really like us very, very much. Uh, and the Qing Dynasty declared war on the Republic of China. Ooh, that does not sound good. Let's go start with our airplanes. Oh, right. Let's take a quick look because a Xinhai revolution, Qing, Di Qing Dynasty, unfortunately led by Pu Yi, or Zhuang Tong Emperor, will lose pretty much every, every single game. Oh, they actually have Tenu Kuba, huh? Yeah, but the Republic of China will pop up more and more in their territories, and that's not good for the Qing Dynasty. I've never seen the Qing Dynasty actually win. Even though they're winning now, there's going to be more people that pop up. Yep. And there we go. They just popped up more. Unfortunate for you, Qing China. It's it was never meant to be. I'm sorry, but that's okay. You were never meant to be uh, there forever. Uh, actually, let's make some more of these as well. So uh, let's do one more focus, and then we'll call it an episode. Military expertise from Germany. Reorganize the realm. Ability, fortify stuff. Uh, let's see, construction efforts, civilian dockyards, and we get two here. Naval gun efforts. Research bonus to land doc or air doctrine. Uh, bureaucracy, civilian factory, paramilitarism, political efforts, and dual monarchy. Well, let's go with military effort from Germany, and that's what we're going to call it here today. So, we are gearing up for what could be the war to end all wars if we have to fight on two fronts, maybe even three fronts against Italy because they don't like us, Serbia because we hate them, and the Russians, which we don't really care for, but they don't really like us either, and Qing China is going to be dead here. So, either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. This is our first episode of playing as Austria-Hungary. Great country. Wish they would bring it back. But I really wish they'd bring back the German Empire. But that's just me. So, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow as we will watch the world slowly continue burning. Thank you very much for watching.